Hey, what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. That was kind of a bit of a voice break in there, but we're gonna ignore that. So today is Thursday the 30th of June. The glitch there. I haven't vlogged in a while, this is really bad. Today is Thursday the 30th of January. Today I'm just gonna do, like, a, yeah, I've got a bit of stuff to get done today, so I thought I'd take you guys around and just do it with you guys. Starting with organizing that those need to go to the post office because they are getting sent off today so this is my second lot of merch so second lot of hoodies i think i can't even say it's like 30 packages but there's still two i have to package up which are the international orders today yeah just a lot of jobs to get done i've been away since last friday and i only got home yesterday so yesterday was a day of catching up on things which I probably should have done while I was away, but I didn't. <laughs> I got up at 7.30 and kind of mucked around a bit. I was like sitting on my phone in bed and I was ended up watching videos of people trying to remove marks off their wall with baking soda. And I was like, well, what am I doing? So I got out of bed, had my shower, and chucked my camera on charge because I don't know how much battery it actually has. So it could go flat sometime today. It is breakfast time. It's 8.30 now, just about 8.30. So I've got an appointment at... 9.30 at the dentist because in New Zealand once you turn 18 you gotta pay for your teeth and they're expensive so yeah need to get a check up before I turn 18 but before I go to uni because once I'm at uni I won't be able to come back to the dentist I think mummy's gonna come with me too because she's like do you want me to come to the dentist with you? I was like yes please mum while I'm in town I've got some things I need to drop off like there's some people who order merch who live kind of near to me well not super near but like within like driving distance so I'm gonna go and drop those off in the letterboxes, or I might go knock on the door, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I've wrapped them up for them in like gift wrap, well not gift wrap, it's like brown paper and string. But um, environmentally friendly guys. And then also, you can't tell me that these aren't the cutest thing ever. I just want to show how little this is. But this is a little make someone smile hoodie, this is size 6 for like kids. So this is for my little cousin. So it's got the make someone smile. I want to take the little pink ones because like they're two little girls who are obsessed with the colour pink. They didn't do the little kids ones in pink. Yeah, this is my cousin that's size 10 because she's like a tall little eight year old. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap those up and take them into them. I don't think they know they're getting them. I need to make myself some breakfast. I am procrastinating. Um, I'm going to have wheat bix bites. So we're running very low on time right now and I just remembered because if you guys don't know my papa passed away not yesterday but the day before so we're in funeral planning mode at the moment. Fortunately we did kind of like it, we knew it was coming so we did have time like my dad has been organizing stuff for a few weeks now but I have to type up the eulogy. I'm going to type that up before I go but we go in half an hour and before we go I also need to sort out my hair because it looks like a bush and also need to deliver those parcels and I did want to wrap up those ones for my little cousins but I don't think I'll have time so I'll just have to come up with some other creative way of doing that but I need to get this stuff done so I will talk to you guys when I'm on my way into town because I need to get this done and <laughs> I need to get done fast. Alright, here sorted. Liverpool game on. Nil <laughs> all at the moment, they're versing um, West Ham and I need to type up the eulogy but I've decided I'm going to go do the things up at the post office first and get that done and out of the way and then I'll come back and spend the rest of the time doing the eulogy. Alright, um, merch has been dropped off at the post office so that is all on its way. Just got back with the game running on my laptop and it's 23 minutes and it's still nil all so that's really, really thrilling. Um, but I need to leave in like 5 minutes so I'm going to go wrap up these girls presents really quickly. Mum's taking the eulogy in town so I'm going to take my laptop and with me and do it at Nana's. Right, so I need to wrap up these presents because they're not going to wrap up themselves. Huh, jokes, um, didn't have enough time to wrap up those presents. So I'm waiting for Mum now in the car to go to the dentist appointment but I've got in the back um, and that stripey bag I have the two hoodies from hand delivering, two ones I'm delivering to my cousins and then I've got a thing I need to drop up at Danny's place which is like my friend Danny and my laptop to top up the eulogy when I get to Nana's house. There's so much going on today my head's like exploding but it's fine. No! Alright let's go to the dentist. Also I changed my shirt because the other one was way too hot. Alright, dentist is done. I have to come back for two fillings and I have to get all my wisdom teeth removed before I go to uni in three weeks. So, <laughs> yay. Yay. Hello, it has been a hot minute. It's now like three o'clock and I'm at my nana's. But mum and I have been here since just before lunchtime. So we did those jobs. We said like going to the bank, going to Caroline Eve, so mum can get some pants for the funeral. And then I went and dropped off the two hoodies to those girls. One of them was home, the other one was not. So I'm organizing to drop that off at a later time. Dropped something off my friend Danny's house. I did that as well. And then I went and dropped off the little hoodies to my cousins. And it was so cute. They were like so excited. And my cousin who's like 
eight she put it on and she like, it was it's so hot today like it's currently 26 degrees and she would not take it off i was like oh but yeah so now we're at nana's we went and got sushi for lunch and dad and i just popped down to the church because there's like a movie thing that my dad and my brother put it together for my papa for his 90th birthday which was two years ago but we're just tweaking it slightly and like swapping out some photos so i'm working on that for dad but i'm also now typing up the eulogy that i was talking about this morning so that's like Four pages worth but I've typed it up and it's only just come onto two pages but yeah I just wanted to talk quickly about how weird the last well it was a long weekend in New Zealand the weekend just gone so obviously as you guys know on Monday Kobe Bryant passed away in the helicopter crash which was absolutely devastating so in New Zealand we found that out on Monday morning and then Monday night I got a text from mum to say that Carvey had passed away and Carvey is the son of the family that we support over in Fiji. So if you guys have seen my Fiji vlogs, you know we go spend a lot of time in their village and we go visit them and take them clothes and things like that and things for the kids. So he passed away on Monday evening. He's had cancer for about a year and they thought it had gone away but then he got, I don't want to say the wrong thing, I think it's Glenn's Barre syndrome. So basically he was essentially paralysed and he's literally 14 I think he was. Yeah and he passed away due to a brain tumour. In the early hours of Monday morning but we didn't find out till Monday afternoon and then Monday night when I was driving home with Owen and his mum um, we nearly got involved in a very what would have been a very serious car accident where someone just failed to stop at, at 9 30 at night failed to stop and just came straight out within less than a meter of our car when Owen was driving it was the scariest thing and then obviously I was with Owen's family back in Hamilton because I live in Auckland because um, I've been away with them for the weekend and then Tuesday morning I woke up, had a shower and then got a text from mum saying call me when you have the chance so I had a missed call from her as well I rang her and that was when she told me about Popper and then looked at Facebook to find that our like best family friends their cat um, passed away as well on Tuesday so yeah, been a very whack few days Hello, so I should have checked the time before I started vlogging. It's just past six o'clock and we've just got home from Nana's. I haven't really achieved half of what I wanted to achieve today, but I mean, that's all right. Family's got to come first in these types of days, so yeah. It's been nice being around at Nana's and a lot of people came around, obviously, to visit. Um, lots of flowers, lots of food. I'm about to grab a Nick home because you guys know I have psoriasis and it's the easiest way to get all of this dry stuff out of my hair. You just comb it all out with a Nick home. My psoriasis, I don't want to show because it's kind of disgusting, but on the back of my neck is literally so dry. Like, every time I just like move, it's just so painful. So I'm going to get mum to help me put something on that because I can't actually see what I'm doing. It's in the back of my neck. It's been a very, I don't know, weird day. I didn't mean for this to be so like sad. Like I thought I was going to get, I thought it was going to be real productive and it was going to be so cool. It's going to be great content but it just hasn't really turned out that way. And I know you guys hate it when I say I'm doing stuff and don't just show you. But it's, yeah, just been one of those days. I was, I was thinking like, oh, maybe I should just like not vlog the rest of the day and just like, you know, just like get rid of the rest of the footage and just act like it never happened and just like not post it. But I was like, no, like you guys need to see that I have big days where I just kind of don't really get as much done as I was hoping. I was hoping today to film like two more videos, Instagram posts, sort out some PR stuff, but that just hasn't happened. Yeah, time to go and comb psoriasis on my hair with a knit comb. I won't show that because it's kind of disgusting. I also need to chuck something up on my Instagram story actually. Wait, where's my phone? Oh, I don't know. Aveen is a skincare company. Logo looks like that. It's called Eau Thermal Aveen. They're based out of France and they've sent me like nine products. And I'm so excited to like a full skincare routine with them. But I'm literally so excited. Like this stuff works absolute wonders on my skin. You guys will see the skincare routine, what I've got here. But I'm so excited for the video. I need to go stop procrastinating and get this skin out of my hair. <laughs> Bye. What the heck? This is, what is this lighting? I turn the light on. Oh. Okay, we'll leave that on then. Nick Combs situation sorted. But I now need to post a thing. Well, I don't need to, but I'm going to post a thank you thing to Avene on my story to like say thank you for sending all this stuff because I'm like, this is like actually like crazy. But I'll set a little time lapse up for you guys so you can see what goes on behind the scenes. dude when you can't see that uh, you're here anyway can sort of sit down at my desk and get some stuff done but i've typed up the eulogy so i'm just printing it off now for everyone to proofread i'm hoping to launch merch 
That was supposed to be tomorrow. I was having to launch that tomorrow, but I think it's going to be Saturday. So that actually might be this week's video. <laughs> I'm a bit stressed out if you can't tell. But I need to start the shipping thing because since I'm launching three different products with three or two different price points, so I don't lose out on the shipping, I'm having to do it by weight. But it's not actually by weight, it's just like how I have to put it into the computer. Oh, okay, there's time music. Gotta get copyrighted, gotta go. Uh, it's been a minute, but I've had dinner now. Mum just made like we had some old buns from lunch yesterday, so she like cut them in half and put like spaghetti and cheese on them, like little pizzas, and put them in the oven. So I had those for dinner. Um, and I made myself an iced chocolate, so I just sculled that back. But I got a message today from this girl on DM, and it said, Last night I had the strangest dream. And I was like, <laughs> like I was like, what? So I just ignored it. I was like, I don't know. I don't want to know what you dreamed about. And then I clicked and I was like, she's making a TikTok. So now I'm going, going along with it with this. I'm going to get like the lyrics to like go down and then I'm going to see like message trend. I'll be like, oh, can I make a TikTok out of this? Because if you don't know, it is a trend of TikTok. A trend of TikTok? Trend on TikTok. My appointment's booked for my wisdom teeth checkup thing, which is kind of annoying because I moved to uni in like three weeks, but I turn 18 and like a month and three weeks. <laughs> so, did I say turn 13? No, I meant 18. If I said 13, I meant 18. Um, not 12, I'm 17. It's been a long day. But yeah, the appointment's booked, but I couldn't get it before I go to uni, so I have to come back during a week to get my wisdom teeth looked at. But I need to reply to this girl, because you don't want to start sending me more lyrics, and it's just not going to work, so I'll catch you guys soon. Alright, so the TikTok thing's done, but I'm having major, major issues trying to get this audio long in the 15 seconds. It is proving very hard, but I find another TikTok that I want to recreate, so I'm going to do that now. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a laugh, so if you want to see these TikToks that I'm making, um, you will have to go over to my TikTok. It's just em.ma underscore Stevens. Alright, so I've decided that my TikTok is broken because I cannot make the Break My Stride TikTok because it won't let me use the audio for more than 15 seconds. Even when I change the thing down the bottom to say like 60 seconds, it's still like, you can only shoot up to 15 seconds and I'm using the same audio as everyone else. So I don't know what the issue is, but we'll try again tomorrow and see if it fixes itself. Oh, I've been lying on my arm and now it's like got pins and needles and stuff. I did have a really large to-do list, but I started watching TikTok, so I need to go to find the to-do list. Not much more is going to happen tonight, but yeah, I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. I don't know if it's going to make it to the internet, so if it did, Hi, if not, then yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you around here. It's free and we love free stuff. But yeah, apart from that, make sure to smile and I'll see you in my next video. That was really obnoxious. I need to fix the brightness. I'm not getting copyrighted. I'm vlogging. I'm not talking to myself, don't worry. <laughs> my what box? Oh, fond do temple saint. Hang on.